Now that we have our layer map set up, let's actually apply it here to our Canon layer. So I'm going to go back to here, to this layer, choose Particle Playground again, go to Canon, and now we want to have Canon actually shoot this layer across the screen at an appropriate speed so it looks like the cat is actually running across the screen. So what we need to do is change the position here. I'm going to reset the position of our particles off to the side, like so. And I want to turn off gravity because I don't want our particles to get pulled down as they go across the screen. So we want to make sure that gravity is not going to affect our cat as he runs across the screen because that's what we're going to be doing here is using this loop of the cat running as a particle and we will then use multiple particles to generate multiple cats running across the screen. Now we don't need a ton of those so we're going to reduce this to say oh five per second or so something like that and we also now need to change the direction so that it's going to point those particles across the screen. And then finally what we're going to do is go down to the layer map and choose our cat loop as the layer. Now we're going to turn that off. Let's turn this back on again. The blue has gone away because that's been taken out. And now you can see we have a bunch of cats running across the screen. That's probably a little too many, so let's in fact take that down to say three or so. Let's increase the barrel radius so we have them coming out from a few different points along the way. Get a little bit of a spread. There we go. Let's spread them out quite wide. Let's bring down the starting position of the emitter here. And so now you can see we have a bunch of cats running across here. Let's just see what that looks like. We'll do a ramp review here. That looks like it's probably going to be way too fast. Well, maybe not. It's actually a little slow, if anything. So we probably need to increase the velocity of our particles here a bit. Yeah, I think we do. So let's take the velocity up to something about like maybe maybe 200 or so. See how that's going to work. That almost looks like the right speed for this cat. It's a little bit slow, perhaps. Let's take it up even a little bit higher. We want to try to get him moving at the right speed across there so it doesn't look like it's slipping as it goes across. You also see that some of these are popping onto the screen because of that barrel radius. What we need to do is actually move the position a little further back because we have that increased barrel radius so that we don't have these things actually popping onto the screen. We want them to appear like they're running off the side of the screen or running in from the side of the screen rather. Okay. So now that's essentially how we use layer maps. We can use an animated layer map like this and it will use the frames in succession from that layer map. Now you can see that there are a few different options here under what's called time offset type that will affect how that works. And so in the next video, let's look at those details and see how they affect how the canon is going to use this layer map.